Hello and welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name is Andy. Today I'm joined by Drew, and we're talking about homemade costumes for comic conventions. Oh my! Great ones, bad ones, hilarious ones, anime, superhero, it all. Are you ready for this? I think I'm ready. Well, I think I'm gonna start off with number one, without a doubt. My personal favorite, whom I seek out every time I go to a Boston Comic Con or any other convention, Wonder Woman. <laughs> no. It's been done badly. A Wonder Woman costume is kind of like sex and pizza. Even if it's bad, it's still pretty good. So who do you like to see? You know what? Honestly, I have to say there were lots of really co good costumes there. I actually got to say one of my favorites was Scarlet. Scarlet Baroness. Oh, they Baroness. They go oh, hand yeah. in hand. I found, I found a few of those on, online, too. The best was when we were at the Comic-Con and the girl that was dressed as the Baroness was pushing a stroller with her child in it. That was hot. That's a hot mama. She's a hot Baroness. Get it? Yeah, I get it. Okay. Weak, but I get it. It's funny. <laughs> um, in online research, some of the cooler costumes, you know, I like the costumes that take a little bit of construction to them, such as Hellboy. And when you see a guy who's done Hellboy right, it's usually pretty impressive. I wasn't going to go with Hellboy this year, but I don't have a satisfactory way of doing the beard. The hand, the, the right hand of doom and all that, that's, that's a piece of cake. That's just, that's just cardboard and tubing and, and foam. I can, I can do that. That's not a big deal, but I don't know. I don't, I don't think I have the right stature for, for Hellboy either. At least not the, uh, what people have come accustomed to with the movie version with Ron Perlman. I gotta say, one of my favorites from the latest Comic-Con that we took that look at, I don't want to stay in one particular genre, but uh, I gotta say, the Link costume looked good. That was Dude, that was awesome. The guy, like, he, he dyed burlap green. And he had a homemade shield. It was freaking, freaking sweet. You know, that's the thing about those costumes. The ones that are store-bought are not nearly as good as the ones that are homemade. And the reason why is because people will actually really put their effort into it to make it look good. I don't know, I think you can take a store-bought costume and work with it. It's basically, not to say that it's not for those who don't want to participate, it's just like the level of participation. Maybe they can't. Maybe yeah. They how to do that. Well, that's the thing. That's the reason why those store-bought costumes are popular. You gotta seek out people like me who make them for fun. And there are actually lots of tutorials online for how to make costumes like Darth Vader mm -hmm. or Stormtrooper costumes. Jeez, there's like tons. Mm. Tons. Where's Another the... fun um, character to seek out when you're at a, a comic book convention is Batgirl. Oh, there's geez. thousands of variations of Batgirl. And yeah. Batman. Yeah, Batman is a big popular one. Going all the way back to the days of the 50s. Today, though, you see a lot of the... Uh, Christian Bale. Christian Bale, thank you. You know a lot of that in the, the uh, conventions these days. You also see a lot of uh, Catwoman. Can, I, can you really see too much of a Catwoman? And there's the variations of Catwoman go all all over. You know, they have like the, the Julie Newmar Catwoman. And the Halle Berry. My, one of, some of my particular favorite ones are the Purple Velvet days with the long hair. Now that's a hot Catwoman. I love, I'd love to see that. If I saw that in person, I would die. Spider-Man's another one that a lot of people just like. The, the other thing about costumes, though, before we forget about it, is then there are, there are the t-shirt costumes. Yes, the Green Lantern. They're all over the place. Where, and I mean by t-shirt costume, by it looks like part of the costume, but they just throw it on, they want to be comfortable, but they want to look like they come and are participating in the whole thing. And it's cool. It's good. That's how it is. I thought you had some real insight or something. You had well, a real tutorial going on. I think, I think that that level... You know, it just, it just goes to show, but either way, you know, you're still supporting your superhero favorite, you know? Or villain. In my case, I was the bad guy. I think playing the bad guy is something a lot of people like to do. It took a while to find some of your cohorts there, though. 
Yeah, it did. But you know what? That was the other thing. It was cool because it was they were different cohorts. They were scientists. I swear, I almost wore the lab coat and did that. You know, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to compete with those two. They were cute. Yeah, they were cute, all right. Was... If you're making a costume for a convention, or even for Halloween, per se, you want to try to find heroes or characters that have immediate identification. Women in a tight black outfit, guns, belts, the little cobra thing, glasses. Baroness. But there are other uh, characters that are easily identifiable. Tight black outfit on young lady with that logo. Yellow usually. Fat girl. X-Men. Little silver X in the belt. We saw one of those at the Boston Comic Con. Any other simple ones. Uh, men in black. Black suit, black tie, sunglasses. Ray-Bans. Ray-Bans. There you go. Fireball. Oh, oh, oh. The Sandman. In the Sandman Mysteries. Perfect. Trench coat. 1950s jacket. Gas mask. Fedora. There you go. Rorschach. You, all you need is the mask. We're hardcore. Yeah. Boom, bitch, boom. Mm. Other popular characters have easy recognizable icons would be the Supergirl. Yes, you know, red, blue, tight, cape, piece of cake. Black canary. The black canary. Black leather card, fishnets, boots. But if you're gonna do the boots, put the gold cuffs on the boots. You see a lot of these uh, black canaries walking around with plain black boots. She doesn't have plain black boots. She has like the gold buckles and stuff. You know, some beautiful yeah. women doing canary, but not. Finishing with the boots. Santana is also yes. a popular one. Very easy to get. It's a magician suit. It's like a tuxedo shirt, tuxedo jacket. Cumberbund, uh, red from the red from the old days, yellow from the new series. You got the top hat, the bow tie. The problem with the new is the time to come and put the yellow. It almost kind of has a um, uh, cheesecake factory waitress look to it when you don't have the whole outfit on. So if you're gonna go new with the yellow cover band, make sure you keep your jacket and hat and wand nearby so people don't think you're uh, gonna serve them cheesecake. Go with the red, it's better. It's hot. Vote for Pedro. Yeah, vote for Pedro. From uh, That's an easy one. Another t-shirt costume. Oh, we saw Mrs. Uh, America too. That one was interesting. And you saw Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, we got Scott Pilgrim too. These are just these are just some lighthearted ideas, you know. If you don't want to go as far as hardcore as like the 501 New England Infantry or the New England Chapter of Ghostbusters, but it is fun and you get more people to take pictures of you, which is what happens. I mean, really, he was the only person who was Green Hornet the entire time we were at the Con at the Boston Comic Con, yeah. And um, you know, everybody's like stopping him to get pictures taken. And, you know, they took pictures with me too. But I can tell they were more interested in getting pictures of him. Because some of them were like, what's he supposed to be? Oh, well. um, not everybody follows the uh, the, the hive. Not everybody's that uh, big of a fan of that. Get it? Nobody follows the hive? Nobody follows the hive. That's a good one. That's a bumper sticker, dude. That's awesome. That would be with the little with the equal umbrella correlation logo. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, like, I'm like all over this, man. Hive parking pa permit. That is hilarious. This wraps up our, our costume Comic Con episode here. I, of course, went as a Green Hornet and I pieced together the outfits from different Salvation Army and other thrift stores and I pieced together the head with a homemade cape and a custom hat and a homemade mask would fit around my old pair of broken glasses so I could actually like, fit in. So uh, I'm going to top that now. I've been a Skeksy. I've been the Green Hornet. To name a few. Yeah. Any ideas for next year? Well, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to see what I can dig up next time. We'll ponder that and get back to you. See us next year. We'll find out next year. <laughs>